Hi guys, I'm Jack, your host, down here in the green with Nathan and Peter from the Brisbane Heat. Hello, Jaden. How you going, bud? How are you, buddy? I'm Nathan. How are you? We got some presents for you. Who are? You're looking good now. Oh, cool, dude. <laughs> Look at you go now. Hello, legend. Put your thumb like that. That's it. Peace out. No style. I'll be Like a windmill. So you go. Yeah. Over like that. Nice work, legend. Now, do you guys have a nickname? Yeah, my nickname's Foz, so my last name's Forrest, so um, the boys are really creative and came up with Foz. And my nickname is Reardo, shortening from Reardon, and um, that's now branched out to be Reardo the Weirdo, so <laughs> don't read anything into that. When did you both start playing cricket? Uh, I started when I was seven. Uh, I was always uh, football in the winter. So I used to play rugby league uh, and then I needed a sport to play in the summer so I played t-ball for a little while and I didn't really like that so I went to cricket um, and I wasn't very good at that. My first year I got eight ducks in a row for the bat so I wasn't very good but I stuck at it and um, yeah that's, I started when I was seven years old. And I was the same, I started playing cricket when I was about nine and um, now I'm 30 so 21 years of cricket and my body's starting to feel very old. I started in a little country town called Chinchilla, and here I am, professional cricketer in Brisbane, so it's good fun. Can you please tell us about your training? Yeah, our training these days is very different to what it used to be when we first started. Before it was, it was just about going to the nets and having a bit of fun and um, sort of mucking around with your mates. But now we've got to do a lot of running and a lot of gym work, so the running, Nathan and I don't really enjoy that much because we're too old. Um, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing it. Yeah, cricket, cricket is now our full-time job, so we're there five days a week. Um, every now and then they give us a day off and we get to come and get interviewed by cool kids like yourself. And, um, but yeah, cricket's a very fun job, but we're, we're very busy at the moment. What are the rules of 2020? It's a good question. Um, I suppose the basics are there's only 20 overs per team. So I think the traditional one day cricket was 50 overs per side. So now it's only 20 overs per side. So I'm a batsman and so is Nathan. So we really enjoy it because we don't have to block the ball. We can just go out there and try and hit as many fours and sixes as we can. Um, so it's good fun. But it's also, we play at night time, which is, which is fun. Um, it's good to watch. We get big crowds as well, um, which is awesome to, to play in front of. Um, and we get to see a lot of smiling kids having fun. So um, it's really good. If you get a chance to go and watch a game, go and do it, because it's good fun. What does it take to be a pro sportsman? A lot of, a lot of hard work, I think. We, um, we started when, we, like we said, we started when we were very young and we've pretty much given our whole life to cricket. So um, it hasn't come very easy, but we, we've had a lot of fun along the way while we're doing it. But we've worked very hard for 21 years and about 35 years for old man over here. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> but yeah, we're training four, five days a week now and um, we, we really enjoy it. So I think that's the main key in playing any sport is you'll work hard if you enjoy what you're doing. So we have a lot of fun and Hard work is the key. All right, boys, let's get it down to business. Hey, kids, I've got a nice, easy tip for you guys who are new to cricket. A lot of guys, when they start bowling in cricket, when they're new to it, they bend their elbow and throw like baseball. The difference with cricket and bowling is what you want to do, you want to keep your elbow nice and straight, and to keep it nice and simple, we'll stand side on, left arm up in the air for a right arm bowler, and we're just going to come over like that, 
and have our right arm nice and straight and brushing our ear, just like so. Okay, kids that have bowled before, we're going to start with a bit of a run up now and we're going to get all our body momentum moving towards our target which will be the three stumps at the other end of the pitch. What we're going to do when we have a bit of a run up, we're going to get our front arm nice and high and we're going to get all our body weight moving towards our target which is the stump. So if you can get out of bed, up you get and practice bowling at the nurse. <laughs> no, don't do that. What is your secret weapon? My secret weapon? Um, well, it wouldn't be a secret if I gave it away. Um, I'll tell you what I do. I'll tell you what I like to do before a game, which is probably not great from the dietitian, but my comfort food is chocolate. I smash Cadbury's chocolate, so sometimes that can be my secret weapon sometimes, I think. Anyway, that's the way I justify it. Me too. It. Yeah, I like it. You're supposed to be telling the kids to eat healthy. My secret weapon is um, fruit and vegetables. Oh, <laughs> not many kids will agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite position? Favourite position on the field is to... Uh, I like, I'm a batsman, so I wish I could bowl fast. If I could bowl at 150k an hour, I would do it because I'm sick of facing guys who can bowl 150k an hour and I can't, I can't get them back. And when it hurt, when it hits you, it really hurts. So I'd love to be able to do that, but um, I'm a batsman, so I like batting up the top somewhere, one, two or three, um, and like hitting lots of fours and sixes. And I, I like batting in the middle order, so around four or five, and I come in at the end of the innings when all the hard work's been done and then I get to do all the fun stuff at the end. And when I'm fielding, I like to field on the boundary because that's where all the crowd is and I get to have fun with the crowd. Yeah. Somewhere where we can go to sleep as well. Yeah. <laughs> Less concentration involved. Yeah. What's the best arm um, position in the team? Oh, the captain. The captain because they get the most money. <laughs> <laughs> the, captain, the, ca the captain can't get dropped either. They can mm. just pick themselves every time. They bat where they want to bat. They bowl when they want to bowl. They got it sorted, the captain has. G'day guys, today I've got a tip about batting. And this is for all the guys and all the girls who haven't played cricket before. This is a batting tip, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to hold the bat. So if you're, firstly, you need to decide whether you're right-handed or left-handed. And that will determine which side of the bat you stand on. For me, I'm a right-hander. So my stance looks like this. The grip, my left hand is on top with what's called the V lined up pretty much down just that side of the grip. Then with my right hand, I try and line my Vs up and nice and close together. And that's pretty much it. You don't want to be putting your, your finger down the back of the bat like that, because as soon as you go to swing the bat, you're going to hurt your finger. And then you might be spending more time in hospital and we don't want that. So make sure you tuck it in nice and tight in there. And then it's just about watching the ball and hitting it as hard as you can. Okay, now let's get into some quirky questions. What would you rather, lick your toes or pick your nose? Oh. <laughs> you don't, as long as you don't have to eat it, I'd probably nah, pick one. No, you have my... to eat it. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to have... Oh, it's really sick. Neither, but if I had to pick one, I would say... Pick my nose only because as a professional cricketer we spend a lot of time with shoes and socks on and standing on our feet and my shoes stink sometimes and I don't want to go anywhere near my feet. Yeah, I'd be the same, pick your nose and I'd happily eat it because I used to do that as a kid and it, <laughs> it's full of protein, it's good for you. <laughs> it's sick, he still does it now. <laughs> do you sing in the shower? Um, I've, yeah, I've been guilty of singing in the shower a few times. Um, my wife's caught me a couple of times singing... Andre Pacelli, isn't it? Yeah, you know, Something like that. So, yeah, sometimes I like to go into opera, but um, sometimes, yeah. most of the time, I'm rapping or a little bit of Taylor Swift. Rapping? Um, go, give us an example. Yeah. You've got to yeah, sing nah. No, you have to do it. No, no, I don't... No. Nah. No, nah, it's only in the oh, shower. I can't sing. Yeah. I'm not a very good opera singer. <laughs> he sings country and western all the time. Yeah, that's the way, country and western. Yeah, I like his style. Sing about tumbleweeds and utes and dogs and... Yep. Who's your favourite music artist? I like the Foo Fighters. 
and in, I don't just because they came into my head. Um, I don't really have a favourite artist. I sort of just like any any music that's good. So I'm happy if, if rap music's good, then I'll listen to that. If country music's good, then I'll listen to that. Anything really, but as long as it just has to be good at whatever it is. I reckon there's only two types of music: country and western. That's right on. <laughs> What animal is the best cricket player? What animal is the best cricket player? A bat. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. I had no idea then. It's a pretty good joke. You know why? Could you look at the question? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a cheat. All right, guys. Our next tip is about fielding. A very important part of fielding is catching the ball. It's the way that you get batsmen out. It's one of the ways you get batsmen out. So when, we, when we're catching, there's a few simple things that you want to try and do every time to make sure that you catch it every time the ball comes to you. So if you watch Nathan here, he's going to try and catch this ball. I'm going to get Nathan to pretend that this ball is an egg. He doesn't want to break the egg. So when I throw him the ball, he wants to have nice soft hands, have two hands together like that, and give with the ball. So when the ball comes, hits your hands, it doesn't pop out. And you need to remember, if you get really good and you start playing with a real cricket ball, the balls are quite hard. So you want to make sure you give with it. So Nathan's just going to give us a demo now, and then I'm going to put him under pressure. OK, we don't want any broken eggs. Great technique, Nathan. See, nice soft hands. Go out, meet the ball, and bring it back in. The harder your hands are, the harder the eggs are going to hit your hands, and we don't want broken eggs. Four fingers. See? Broken egg. Now Pete's got to pick that up. <laughs> All right, now Pete and I are going to demonstrate a drill that we used to do when we were young to practice our hand-eye coordination, OK? We're going to juggle four balls. Come on, faster. Thank you, boys, for coming on to Juice TV. Hope you win your next game. No Thank worries. You. Thanks for having us. Thanks for watching. Hope you had some fun. Good luck. See you later. Jack, we're at the grass, the green grass. <laughs> okay, we're running nice and straight, arm up nice and high, and bowling towards our stumps. And our stumps have dropped the ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go. All right. You, you, All right. Right. I'll talk. you talk. Watch and learn. Make sure you don't laugh if we don't do it right. Do you know what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, I got the ball. <laughs> Maybe we should stick to four. <laughs> Ready? Okay, we're not, very good we're not real good at that one, but... <laughs> Hope you enjoy this interview thingy from Bobby. <laughs> <laughs>